And I must tell you, I wish it had been my idea, but it was Lily Beth who called and said, why don't we honor Caitlin? And to me, that was the most inspired thing I had heard. I'm going to ask the Sharubi family to come on up here and join with their daughter and granddaughter. And then I, anyway, Catherine, John, Helen is here. I'm going to tell you a quick story. I used to call home from California, and my mother would say, Helen Sharubi is here with that darling little granddaughter of hers, Caitlin. And my mother loved this child, and that's why I am honored to be here to be honoring her. And we all should be. You would like, or anyone would like to give some background, or if you would, Caitlin. We're going to have Caitlin give some of her own background for us. Oh, I just want to let you this. Um, I just want to thank you all so much for this great honor. I am truly blessed to be born into such a wonderful community of Garrison Beaches, and it's because of all of you that I got so far. So thank you so much, and God bless Garrison Beach. We're going to present Caitlin with this plaque, Distinguished Honoree. On behalf of the members of the Garrison Beach Property Owners Association, Inc., and our community, we present our Distinguished Honoree Award to Caitlin Sharubi. Her personal, academic, and sports accomplishments are an inspiration to all. May she achieve each and every goal she set for herself and continue to motivate others through her courageous perseverance. Given at Kitty Beach, Brooklyn, New York, on June 5th, 2010. I'd like to introduce Assemblyman Alan Maysell, who has attended our openings every year for years and who is always working on our behalf. Thank you, George. Once again, it's great to be here. Um, Harrison Beach, the little community and the big city, the little town and the big city. Uh, this is just such a wonderful place to be, and it's a great day for all of these celebrations, and I'm happy to be here myself. Uh, first, I have an announcement. Anybody lost a battery pack of C batteries? Found them on Garrison Avenue. I didn't want to keep them myself. Secondly, I want to announce that uh, I was able to arrange for a $50,000 grant to repair the Garrison Beach uh, Volunteer Firehouse. So that should take care of a lot of the problems that uh, the volleys have. Hopefully the money will be available in, uh, in this fall and uh, it'll make for things much easier. But for the great um, Sarubi family, and particularly Caitlin, I have a resolution from New York State Assembly, which I'm not going to read, because I think you all know about how courageous Caitlin is and uh, what marvelous things she has done and will continue to do. But on behalf of the New York State Assembly, uh, we have resolved that as a, as a duly elected member, I recognize in Caitlin Sarubi, we have an outstanding citizen, one who is worthy of the esteem of both the community in the great state of New York. Caitlin. This would have been framed, but New York State has no money. Thank you. I'd like to call 
call up Doreen Greenwood. Where is she? Doreen, are you among us? There she comes. Thank you, George. Senator Golden had just called me. He's on his way, but he wanted to make sure that I, I wished everyone for a wonderful summer. And thank God for Kitty Beach, otherwise Gerritsen Beach would all be sweltering right now. And I don't know who thought about these trees, but I'm so glad that they're here. And Caitlin, Senator will be here. He'll be here on the beach in a little while to, to wish you well. But I wanted to wish you well personally also. Caitlin is, 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 our, is our girl from Gerritsen Beach. She's going to be here hopefully for her whole life. Right? And are we all proud of her? Let's give her a round of applause. And thank God for her parents and her grandmother and the whole Sarubi family. Thank you all for what you do for Gerritsen Beach. Uh, I'm going to tell you a quick story. 1971, uh, my mother's house was gutted by fire. My brother got my mother out onto the porch roof, on the snow-filled roof. He apparently fell back and he died at the bottom of the stairs. For I don't know how many years after that, Alan Cherubi spent day after day with my mother. So this is payback. <laughs> 